Ramesses shared his life with Queen Nefertari. The quest for Cleopatra's final resting place continues to elude us, and the enigma surrounding her death and its aftermath still haunts historians and archaeologists. So where does Cleopatra's tomb remain hidden? And what is the true obstacle in our search for it? Stick with us until the end to uncover the real reason behind this enduring mystery. Cleopatra's Enduring Legacy Cleopatra's story has captured the hearts and imaginations of countless individuals, inspiring works of art, literature, and cinema. From ballets to operas, from plays to movies, Cleopatra's life has been celebrated in various forms. However, despite her omnipresence in the annals of history, Cleopatra remains a figure enveloped in mystery, obscured by fabricated tales and harsh judgments that have persisted since her lifetime. A Glimpse into Her Final Days Let's rewind to the fateful moment of Cleopatra's demise. On August 12, 30 BC, Cleopatra found herself in a dire predicament as she faced defeat at the hands of the Roman army led by Octavian, the future Emperor Augustus. Her partner, Antony, had already perished, believing her to be dead. In Alexandria, with the Romans closing in, the 39-year-old Cleopatra, joined by two loyal companions, sealed herself in her chamber. The most renowned account, with Lyricognist, tells of her choosing to end her life with the venomous beat of an asp, symbolizing her transcendence into deityhood. It was a fitting and poetic conclusion to the reign of Egypt's last queen, who had longed to rest beside her beloved Antony. With her death, the curtain fell on the Macedonian dynasty initiated by Ptolemy and the era of Egyptian queens. Hunting for Cleopatra's Tomb To this day, one of the most tantalizing riddles remains the undiscovered tombs of Antony and Cleopatra. Cleopatra had intended her final resting place to be near her palace in Alexandria, yet the ravages of time intervened. In the 4th century, an earthquake submerged her tomb underwater, shrouding it in mystery. Despite relentless efforts, Cleopatra's lost tomb has remained elusive. While some clues matching the tomb's description have surfaced, the tomb itself continues to evade discovery. Most believe the tomb lies in Alexandria, while others posit it may be in the vicinity of Ausir, near Cairo. There's yet another theory proposing Tapasiris Magna, situated approximately 30 miles west of Alexandria, as the hidden vault. Despite excavations unearthing significant Egyptian tombs in the area, none have been conclusively attributed to the queen. Religious and Cultural Transformation a pivotal turning point came with the ascendancy of the Roman Catholic Church, leading to the obliteration of numerous ancient monuments associated with non-Christian faiths, including the belief that pharaohs were deities. A new city was constructed atop these ancient sites. As a result, Cleopatra's tomb might still remain concealed beneath layers of history, waiting for a modern revelation. Often, ancient treasures are discovered serendipitously during construction projects. The Enigma of Her Demise The quest to locate Cleopatra's tomb has been further complicated by the enigmatic details of her death. Historical records present ambiguous accounts. While some claim she died in Alexandria, a debate persists over the precise location, including whether she was in her chamber or inside a tomb. At the time, there were no eyewitnesses to the event, leading to lingering uncertainty. The familiar story of her demise via snakebite derives from later writers and its authenticity is disputed. Some suggest that Octavian, her conqueror, played a role in her death after her capture. The Neglected Alexandria Over the centuries, Alexandria and its environs have not received as much archaeological attention as the more ancient sites along the Nile such as the Pyramids of Giza or the Monuments of Luxor. It's unsurprising, given the devastating impact of earthquakes, surging waters, subsiding lands, 
conflicts, and the repurposing of building materials that have erased traces of the old Alexandria, the realm of Cleopatra and her family for over three centuries. Today, the remnants of ancient Alexandria lie submerged beneath approximately 20 feet of water, fostering the belief that Cleopatra's tomb, like her palace, has long been lost to the depths. The Cremation Theory However, one theory posits that Cleopatra might not have a traditional tomb. After her death, the Romans, adhering to their distinct funerary customs, may have opted to cremate her remains instead of interring them in a prepared sepulcher. Cremation was a common practice in Roman culture, which could account for the absence of a known tomb dedicated to Cleopatra. Recent explorations have turned their gaze to a temple in the desert outside Alexandria, speculating that Cleopatra, renowned for her strategic thinking, may have chosen to establish a clandestine tomb in a more sacred and less conspicuous location. Kathleen Martinez's Relentless Pursuit The pursuit of Cleopatra's tomb remains an unrelenting quest that has spanned centuries. Kathleen Martinez, a lawyer turned archaeologist, has devoted nearly two decades to unraveling the enigma of Cleopatra's resting place. For 14 years, she and her team have been conducting excavations, most notably at Taposiris Magna, an ancient temple near Alexandria, Egypt. This site has yielded promising clues that hint at the possibility of Cleopatra's presence. Should she succeed in locating Cleopatra's tomb, it could unearth a wealth of insights about the queen's life and times. However, the discovery of the tomb is merely the inception of an extensive project, encompassing meticulous documentation, careful excavation, artifact preservation, and historical analysis. Excavation, Revelations, and the Underwater Quest In their relentless pursuit, Martinez and her team made a remarkable discovery. A remarkably long tunnel, stretching an astounding 1,350 meters, 4,281 feet, and buried deeply underground at a depth of 13 meters, 43 feet. This tunnel's engineering sophistication is awe-inspiring. Their excavations uncovered a grand religious center, complete with three sanctuaries, a sacred lake, and a staggering collection of over 1,500 objects. Among these artifacts are busts, statues, golden relics, and a remarkable assortment of coins featuring the likenesses of Alexander the Great, Queen Cleopatra, and the legendary tombs. Kathleen Martinez believes that these findings might hold the key to Cleopatra's tomb. Furthermore, they unearthed tunnels that extend beneath the sea. As they embark on a new phase of their search, exploring these submerged tunnels, the team remains hopeful that these waterlogged passageways may lead to the long-sought resting place of Cleopatra, Zahi Hawass's unearthings and analysis. Egypt's eminent archaeologist, Zahi Hawass, has fueled excitement by asserting that the discovery of Mark Antony and Cleopatra's final tomb is close at hand. During a visit to a 2,000-year-old temple dedicated to the god Osiris, Hawass showcased 22 coins, 10 mummies, and a fragment of a unique mask with a distinctive chin. He contends that this location near the Mediterranean Sea may harbor the tomb of the famous lovers who have eluded us for centuries. However, not all experts in Egyptology share his enthusiastic claims. A pivotal revelation in this endeavor is the unearthing of tombs from the same era as the temple, adorned with ten mummies of notable individuals. In antiquity, significant figures were typically interred near pyramids, making it unusual to discover important tombs outside a temple. To probe deeper, Hawass employed specialized radar to investigate the subterranean areas surrounding the temple, revealing three potential underground burial chambers at a depth of approximately 40 feet or 12 meters. The Persistence of History But have they really given a thought that there's also the possibility that Cleopatra's tomb might have been found already, but people didn't realize its importance back then? 
After all, Egypt has many tombs and burial sites, and sometimes Cleopatra's tomb could have been one of them. But if there weren't clear signs or special things to show it was hers, it might have been missed or not recognized for what it truly was. Another reason Cleopatra's tomb has eluded us is that ancient Egypt was a land of many tombs and monuments. Over thousands of years, these sites have been buried, looted, or repurposed, making it tough for archaeologists to find undisturbed tombs. Because the search for this ancient treasure has been ongoing for years, many exciting discoveries have been made. The Unyielding Mystery Despite centuries of dedicated efforts, the elusive tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony continues to evade our grasp. Thus, we are left with a beguiling question. Will the tomb of these legendary lovers ever be unveiled? Or will it forever remain a mystery concealed within the sands of time? We invite you to share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. Subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated on our channel. Thank you for watching.